Right then, so we're continuing on with Enviro's Roost, I think we're on now. So, it's so silent here. I can feel the presence of other people and hear a sound or two. There's not a single soul in plain sight. I wonder how many here live on this island. It gives me the feeling that there's a lot of houses without people in them. Alright, I'll be back later. So I wonder what was the population, like maximum population this island had. Actually it would have been quite, more, quite a lot more if they had another tribe here, wouldn't it? Huh. Uh, thank you, Greta. Be a good girl and drink your medicine, even if it's a, a bit bitter, okay? Okay, I don't like it when my tummy hurts, so I'll drink it. Good. <laughs> See ya! Hello? Oh, what are you doing here? Just taking a walk. Are you busy walking? It's busy walking. <laughs> are you busy working? I'm not sure if I'd even call this work. A girl at that house had a stomach ache, so I only brought her medicine. <laughs> What is it? Why are you looking around like that? I just felt that there are very few people outside today. Ah, I'm so used to it I haven't even noticed. I guess it might look strange from your eyes. Maybe they're just avoiding Chester. Most people are inside their how well, are inside their homes at this hour. You can catch a few fishermen leaving early in the morning, but that's about it. What do they do in their house? Just clean up? Make lunch and dinner? It's not always like that, you know. Oh, it's not always like that, but you know, there's nothing to do in a place other than secure food. I mean, we've got no recreational facilities or anything. Are we gonna rebuild the- Are we gonna build, rebuild the play yard? Finally? <laughs> I see. They've got no recreational facilities. So they spend all their time shut inside their homes. Still kinds of still sounds kind of odd to me, yeah, like you think at least someone would be like trying to invent something, wouldn't you? At least one person. You won't find anything here. Anyway, I'm on my way back. I recommend you do the same. Yeah, they could yeah, if they got that much if they spend all their time indoors, they could at least fix the play yard, couldn't they? <laughs> then I shall accompany you. I feel like someone is watching me. What is it? It's nothing. It doesn't feel like they mean me harm at least. What? <laughs> at least for now. Oh no, it's Zizi? Is it? Huh. I'm back. Ah, oh, there's no one home. But I guess I can't help your conditioning. You can't help your conditioning. Oh, it smells nice. I wonder if Colette and Laura brought this. I wish I could have received it from them with my own hands. I'll need to thank them later. Do you want a sandwich? I wonder what kind of meat this is. It's still warm. I guess I should help myself before it turns cold. Ugh, I don't know, but I feel like a good-for-nothing gigolo living off others like this. <laughs> what a depressing thought. Maybe I should try looking for some tools to fish with. I could catch my dinner myself. I still have to borrow milk and flour though, bartering, huh? I wonder if I could, could use fish for that. Probably could, probably could. I wonder for how many more days I'll even need food. I should leave this place before I find myself unable to move. Greta said something about taking care of a dead body being a pain in the neck. A dead body, eh? <laughs> Boy. I guess it wouldn't be so bad to feed a few hungry animals after my death. I mean, I've eaten more of them than I can, than I can count. It'd also be nice if I could find someone who knows the current and throw my body into the sea. Uh, 
I'd rather my dead body didn't wash up on the beach again. If Colette found me in that state, he'd probably take you home and wax you up. Uh, I never thought I'd be thinking about the situation after my death. They would have taken care of my body if I just did nothing and passed away back home. But I couldn't bring myself to make even more trouble for everyone. Instead, you brought it here, Jester. You just brought it to this island instead. A man-eating forest, huh? It'd be convenient if it also ate the bodies. Well, could you remember one of the endings? It probably, she probably does eat the bodies. I've got a fishing rod if you need one, but weren't you getting your food at Colette's? I can't keep on doing that forever. I don't think you should worry about that. Anyway, you can use this. Thank you. I won't be use it, using it anymore, so no need to return it. You know of any good spots? All are good at this place. You can catch your dinner and more even at this hour. I did very little fishing back in the day. I hope it'll work out. As long as you know the basics. Alright, I guess I'll go and try it out now. Do you have anything for the bait? I was thinking to catch some insects in the forest. Then you can have this box. You can stuff them in it. Yeah, we're all prepared for fishing now. Thank you. If I catch a lot, I'll bring some as a token of thanks. Haha, <laughs> I'll be looking forward to that. Oh, does that mean we're going to encounter... Zyz... I can't remember. Z I know it's a Z. That's so, Zyz? I guess we're going to encounter him. Encounter him. If we're going fishing. Phew, I guess that should be that should be enough for today. Ugh, they're still slithering all over the box. I don't have a problem with bugs, but it gets cr pretty creepy when there's so many of them. I think that's a true for anything, really. The white forest is just a bit over yonder. I'm curious, but I guess I'll leave it for today. Today's a fishing day. Ah, a rabbit. It's white as snow. I guess that's how wild rabbits look. Its eyes look red as blood. Why would it be... Actually, no, yeah, I'm thinking of snow rabbits. That's why. <laughs> Come over here. I won't eat you. Ah, he got away. Hmm? Hmm. Ah, oh, he ran away from Ignis. Now, this rabbit is a lot bigger. <laughs> I wonder if he'd be angry if I, if I said I almost mistook him for all what? <laughs> Hello? I've seen him before, from afar, but he definitely exudes a certain aura from up close. He was Greta's pupil, if I remember right. His name was, um, Ignis. What are you doing here? I'm catching insects. I was planning to go fishing. Your earthworms are pretty big, aren't they? I got pretty scared when I found my first one. As long as it's not the African giant earthworm, then you're okay. <laughs> You've got blood on your neck. Huh? Really? I wonder if I cut it on some leaf. Mr. Ignis? You cannot get proper treatment for anything on this island. If a bacterium gets into one, even a small wound could kill you. Ah, uh, no worries about that one, I guess. Follow me. Eh? Oh, we're replaying this out again. I don't think that wound's anything to worry about. But it looks interesting, so I might as well indul indulge myself to the man's kindness. So right now we're, we have befriended both Laro and Ignis. This place. 
a boundary between the white and the a boundary between the green and white forests. So that's how it looks like. The roots of this tree are brown, but the leaves look as the white is consuming, taking over them. Do you live over there, Mr. Ignis? Yes. No, oh, so I guess that stuff about man eating was a metaphor or something after all. Did you hear it? Did you hear about it from Master? Master? Oh, you mean Greta? Yeah, she said this forest eats people or some such thing. Let's go. Ah, okay. Yeah, we need to get him to warm up to us first. <laughs> I'm sorry for making you treat me and all. I'll bring you a fish as facts. If I catch any, that is. Did someone give you that fishing pole? Yes, Greta said she won't be using hers anymore. How long has it been since you came to this island? How do you know what I have not been living here from the start? You said that you cannot get proper treatment on this island. That certainly sounded like you knew others. Aha. <laughs> and your appearance. You look like you come from the north. I grinned, perhaps? Katora. Katora? You mean that Katora? The Kingdom of Magic? Yes. There is just a kingdom okay, of apparently there's just a kingdom of magic now, okay. <laughs> and I've heard they were overtaken by the neighbouring countries after their magic began to decline. And that was over two hundred years ago. I already felt there was something off about Greta's appearance. I suppose I shouldn't trust my eyes with this person either. But is Dignus' time been frozen as well, like Greta's? Because he has to be the doll maker? Huh. But why did you come all the way, all the way to this island then? That does not concern you. Well, I suppose so. Sorry if I appeared rude. Thanks for the treatment. I hope we can have a chance to meet again, Mr. Ignis. Just call me by my name. Eh? I do not mind being called Ignis. Just speak in a way that is most convenient for you. Well then, Ignis, thanks for treating me. I'll come again if I catch something. Do you remember the way? Ah, uh, that's okay. I remember some of the more interesting trees, and I can follow the sun. I won't get lost, as long as the forest itself doesn't change. Pray that my fishing expedition goes alright, okay? <laughs> there is something wrong. Hmm, what, what is, what is wrong? Now oh, fish at the beach then are we? Ah, uh, it's not so bad to relax once in a while. The best, the, 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 the best part is that I can't hear a single voice, or oh, just the sounds of the waves. Though it doesn't seem like I'm catching anything, I wonder if there's something wrong with this spot. Let's try those rocks over there. Chester! Hmm? Colette? Yes, Greta told me you, you've gone fishing. How's it going? Have you caught anything? Not a single fish. I was actually thinking to switch spots right about now. Uh, I brought you lunch. How about you help yourself while fishing? Chester? Uh, thanks, I suppose I shall indulge myself then. Go ahead. I didn't even realise it was time for lunch already. This sure didn't go according to plan. 
Maybe I could catch her a fish for dinner at least. Colette, do you know any good spots? Somewhere where I could catch a big one? Hmm. I do, Chester. Huh? I do. And who might you be? Ch Ch Chester, no! Colette? Enviro knows of a place with a lot of fish. It's over there. They swim in such swarms, you might be able to catch them with your bare hands. F really? Thanks for telling me, um, Enviro? Are you happy? Yeah, I'll be even more... Uh, I'll be even more so if I can catch those fish. What a peculiar girl. I wonder if she comes from outside. Though... Enviro is interested in you, but I shan't get in, your, in the way of your act. I will be back. Give me more attention next time. Uh, okay. You mean, you like to play with me next time or something? Chester! Play. Yes, that's it. That's good. We will play. I don't really mind, but... Haha, <laughs> see you on the morrow then, Chester. Do not forget me. We shall play. Tis a promise. Well, yeah, that was weird. Uh, Chess. Well, she seemed like a nice, frank girl, at least. Reminds me of those kids. Yeah. I used to join their games on my days off sometimes. I wonder what they're doing now. Kids at that age always strive to live to their fullest. When you look at them, they remind you of how precious life truly is. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, I, I suppose so. Uh, Colette, could it be? You're not on good terms with that girl? You don't like kids. I'm gonna go with that one, but let's... Okay, with this... No, you're not on good terms with the girl? Nah, it's not really about me. I don't know the details myself, so I'm not sure how to explain this, but... It's just that it's probably for the best not to involve oneself with that one. At least that's what the, all the villagers say. <laughs> Why? Is she like the villagers... villagers prankster or something? Uh, you got me curious now. Eh? He didn't seem like a bad girl to me. Imagine you've got your reasons, but shunning a kid like that feels kind of sad to me, honestly. Ah, uh, I, I, I suppose so. I was actually wondering about that myself, if I perhaps could do something or do something or other. But I'm not grand enough to change anything by myself. Is that so? You are a kind-hearted soul, Colette. You're making fun of me. I see. So Chester likes children. But if it was our kid, then I too. Colette, what did you just say? <laughs> y yes? I'm sorry, what did you just say? I think I misheard you. <laughs> it's, 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 it's nothing, no problem. Just ignore it, Chester. <laughs> well. Well, well, let's go look for that place you told us about. I hope you catch a lot tonight, right? Y yeah. Uh. Ah, she nearly, nearly slipped up on her own plans. You definitely caught a lot, didn't you? Yeah, I never thought it'd go that well. I think I have enough for both Greta and Ignis too. Greta gets some for letting you the fishing pole, right? But why Ignis? Yeah, well, he helped me a bit too. Hmm? 
You can take some with you too. Uh, are you sure? Of course, I'm indebted to you for saving my life, as well as all the food you've given to me. I don't imagine that's anywhere near close to making us even, but... You're over-exaggerating. Then how about I use this fish to repair all three of us a delicious meal? Uh, but then my jester are trying to pay you back. Food is a lot tastier when eaten together. I will come over to call you once it's ready. Hmm. Ah, then how about I try to make it for us? You? I'll have to borrow a few ingredients from you though, since I only have the fish as you can see. <laughs> I don't mind, I'm really looking forward to this. My mother used to make mainland food. I really doubt I'm as good as your mother, and the taste differs depending on the region. I'm afraid I might let you down. <laughs> as long as you put your heart, the most important ingredient, into it. Not literally. I wish he told me that. I guess that means I'll have to put all I've got into this. But I've got some preparations to take care of first. How about we do this tomorrow? I understand, and I will gather other, other ingredients in the meantime. Is there anything in particular you need? Uh. No, oh, we're not going to get an ingredients list. 